Welcome to another unboxing. This is the Rocat Cone Pure, a gaming mouse for the gamers who want all of the gaming features. I'm going to let that sink in for a moment. So in terms of features, what do we got? Pro-Aim Laser Sensor R3, so it's an 8200 DPI sensor that they're claiming is good for up to 1200 FPS, okay? Uh, so it should be very smooth movement. Button duplicator, easy shift plus. We'll show you this on the mouse itself. So what that basically allows you to do is set up a shift button that enables different functionality of the other buttons. So instead of going, okay, function one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you could go, okay, shift one. And then that could be function eight for example. So you can, have, you can have a shift button that allows you to enable more functionality. This is great for MMO players, maybe less of a factor for FPS players. Customizable lighting, multicolor, so 16 point whatever million colors on the Rocket logo at the back. Rocket, Rocket, I keep saying it wrong. Uh, TDCU is interesting. So this is a tracking technology that is designed to help you control um, how much your lift distance affects the sensitivity of the mouse itself. So, so you can configure how much lift distance you want to have before it stops sensing and uh, allows you to not sort of move all over the place when you lift the mouse up when you get to the edge of your mouse pad. One other solution to that problem is to get a bigger mouse pad and that's usually what I recommend, especially if you're a low sensitivity gamer. It's nice to have a nice big pad, but it's nice to know that if you lift, it's not going to go all over the place. So it's got light system drivers and macros. Ah, Rocket Talk. So Rocket Talk is a good one. What Rocket Talk does is it actually allows you with multiple Rocket devices that support Rocket Talk, Rocket Talk, uh, they are able to communicate with each other to enable sort of certain certain bonuses. So whether it's things like ambient lighting effects or um, feedback based on you know you got some like poison thing going on and the color of your mouse can actually change to green when there's a poison effect. I mean. Not everyone looks at their mouse while they're gaming, but it's just one of those things that's kind of cool, especially if you're at a LAN, you know, you, uh, you're you low on mana and all your peripherals start to grow glow blue and kind of cool things like that. They've also got what they call, I totally have a cheat sheet for this, you guys, because I just kind of gave up on remembering everything. Talk FX, which is audio feedback, which will actually allow you to go, okay, I'm gonna change my profile, but maybe I'm not staring at my mouse. So maybe, like we've seen mice that have color changing effects when you change profiles, but maybe I'm not looking at it. Same, that same thing where maybe I'm not looking at it when my mana is low because I'm concerned with replenishing my mana. Um, what it'll do is it'll actually tell you through your speakers the new DPI setting that you've changed. And you can configure what kinds of things it'll tell you. So for example, it can even say things like volume up. They've got a demo on their website that's actually pretty neat. So, so that's cool. 32-bit turbo core ARM processor, so it's got a fast chip in it. 576 kilobytes of onboard memory allows you to store tons of macros and settings. And it's got seven mouse buttons, which we showed you before. High build quality using Omron switches. So let's actually show you the mouse itself. So it's a bit on the smallish side. It's not a huge mouse by any stretch of the imagination. It is ergonomically shaped, so you can see it's uh, designed for right-handed people, shorter index finger, longer middle finger. Uh, just a two, 2D mouse button, so there's no left and right shift. Just a click and then up and down. You've got back and forward buttons here on the left. I think these are a must for any mouse these days. If you don't have back and forward, then it's sort of brutal. And then these guys right here are for profile switching or honestly whatever else you would like. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Those are your buttons. This is the lighting zone right here. And on the bottom you find your 8200 DPI sensor along with some Teflon pads along the top and the bottom of the mouse. These are big enough that you're not going to have any issues with them. I hated some, some of the old mice. They used to have little tiny pads like in the corners. And it made them wear out a lot faster. It was very annoying. And they'd come off too because there's not enough adhesive on them. So that was just ridiculous. So in terms of ergonomics, I'd say this is about perfect for my hands. Even a touch on the small side if I was going to palm it out right, because you can see that if I put my palm here, my fingers are going to go right to the end of the mouse itself. So it's more of a claw grip mouse. Um, and I mean, you know what, here I'm going to take the camera from Slick for a second here. I'm going to let him put his hand on it just to give you some idea. So that's with sort of a baseball glove, uh, baseball mitt sized hand. Uh, no, uh, sorry, do it again. I, I didn't get you before. Baseball mitt sized hand. So you can see it's a little bit on the small side for him. So I'd say this one is would be great for girls, guys with smaller hands, but not necessarily optimized for extremely large hands. And I'm totally gonna go back to my cheat sheet, make sure I didn't miss anything. 
And I think we are good. So don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, the <laughs> rocket achievements. So there's actually an application built into the driver that will track your usage. Now this can be useful because it'll tell you things like uh, which buttons are being overutilized or underutilized so that you can optimize better for you know your gameplay which ones you find easiest to reach maybe you have a hard to reach button and you're using that one all the time and an easy to reach button that you're not using all the time so you can track stats like that and it also gives you little achievements like i think uh, diesel what was one of them called scroll master Sultan of Scroll, that's what it was called, so that's pretty funny. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.